a cat's cradle here. I have put out some of my dehydrated food to show you. It's show and tell again. We've kind of got this thing going with I'm still working in horticulture and homes and Bear Prepper gets in on it a little bit. Um, just to give you an idea of the kind of things I'm dehydrating and to encourage you to do it yourself. I don't have one of the big fancy dehydrators like um, like some of the other gals have. I have this one made by Nexco. I think it's called a, uh, American Harvest Food Dehydrator and Jerky Maker. I ordered it online. I think I paid about $40 for it. I have since purchased extra trays. It came with four, but I stacked mine up to ten. That's the maximum. And I have uh, the screens that go in them and also the fruit roll trays. Can you get both of those prepper so we can show them? I forgot to put them out. Um, so here we go. I've kind of got it. I've, oh, here's another tool that has been invaluable to me as I as I dehydrate. And this is a Vidalia Chop Wizard. And I learned about this from I'm Still Working. I'll post a link to the video where she demonstrated using it. It's this coolest little chopper gadget. It's got a real fine uh, dice here. You set it like that. And then it's got a bigger dice here. I love it. They're not over there on the counter? Well, they might be in the top of the dehydrator. Okay, you can walk over there and go look. I'll keep it low so we don't show your face. Thank you. So I love this chop wizard, especially for doing carrots. Uh, it's just wonderful. The other thing, if you're chopping for a recipe, it's got uh, measuring devices on the side, uh, two cup, half cup, that kind of thing. I just love this thing. It's, it's wonderful for chopping. Okay, preparation showed me. Here's the mesh insert that goes into the dehydrator. That's great when you're doing things like mixed vegetables or diced carrots. Things that are going to get really small when they dehydrate, they won't fall through. You just lay that on your tray. Here is the uh, fruit roll for you to make fruit roll on. You can spread fruit puree on this tray and dehydrate. So those are wonderful. I've bought, I think mine came with two fruit roll trays. I think I've since bought four more and I went and bought the mesh. They were uh, two screens for $5. I ordered those online through Amazon.com. Love my dehydrator. Uh, there are times during the year when it runs 24-7. Uh, you know what we forgot to put out? We forgot to put out some dehydrated tomatoes. Can you go dig and see if you can find any dehydrated tomatoes? I just thought of that. <clears throat> sure is good to have a helper. Over here I have some fruit I've dehydrated. I put on this tray um, one of our very favorite fruits. We love to dehydrate grapes, especially the big red grapes when they go on sale for 99 cents a pound. You do have to blanch them, wash them and blanch them for one minute and then put them on the dehydrator and they take almost two days to dry. But I don't care because it only costs about seven cents a minute to run my dehydrator. So there are times when I run it day and night. But we love these. They are like candy. There were a lot more on this plate, but Preparay's already gotten into them. I had to swat her hands and say, get away, because uh, she'd eat them all. Uh, and we do th we do lots of these, and we pack them in big quart jars and vacuum seal them, but we love that. One of our favorite things is to make our own little kind of trail mix snack with our uh, dehydrated grapes, our dehydrated bananas, and walnuts. Those are the best three things to eat together. I'm telling you, it's delicious. No, I've got beans. You didn't find the dehydrated tomatoes? Okay, that's okay. Maybe I've used them all. Uh, I also dehydrate apples. And um, I always treat mine with a, a little lemon juice when I slice them up. Sometimes they turn just slightly kind of tan like this. Sometimes they stay really white like this. It just depends on the variety. Very few dehydrated foods can I store in a vacuum seal bag because so many things... Once you dehydrate and take the moisture out of it, it gets uh, little points on it, little sharp points. And you can vacuum seal it, and it looks really good, but the next day you come back and it's, and it's full of air. Uh, dehydrated apples, if you don't over-dry them, if you leave them still kind of pliable, then you can put them in, in uh, vacuum seal bags. And I like them because I can uh, put them in my husband's get-home bag because he likes those. I do uh, dehydrate lemons and oranges. 
I use them as decorations and in potpourri, and you can also throw them in uh, punch or um, uh, spice cider or something like that. They're good. They're not particularly delicious to eat like that because the membrane, uh, the taste of the membrane, the, the pith, the white part, does intensify when you dehydrate it and it tastes a little bitter. I've found they're more palatable if I take the peel off. These oranges were in fact a little tart and when I laid them on my tray I sprinkled just a little bit of sugar on them and dehydrated them like that. They are like eating candy. They are delicious. And I've had them in the Ziploc bag for a year and just go in and get a few whenever I want something sweet. Uh, and I've had no problem. No problem with the molding or anything like that. And they've just been in the Ziploc bag. <coughs> I do have some more in canning jars, but these wouldn't fit. I didn't have uh, enough canning jars at the time. And I thought, I'm just going to put them in a the Ziploc, Ziploc bag and see if they last. And they have. They've been perfect. Okay, I think that's the fruit. Raisins, apples, bananas, oranges. I do lemons, too. I don't have those out here. They don't dehydrate as pretty as um, oranges. For some reason, they turn pretty dark. Oh, here's one more kind of fruit thing. I do some seasoning. I save some seasoning kind of uh, things. I canned a lot of citrus this year, a lot of grapefruit and oranges. And I decided to start saving, uh, Not certainly not all of it because I wouldn't have enough room, but I saved a lot of the orange peel as much as I would think I would need for recipes like fruit cake or pound cakes or something, anything that calls for orange peel, or even some Asian savory dishes like a sweet and sour chicken or something. This rehydrates perfectly. If I put a few pieces of lemon peel in a bowl with a little bit of boiling water and let it sit for about 20 minutes and come back and fish it out and put it on my cutting board and dice it up, it it dices up and minces exactly like fresh orange peel. I love having this around. Can you imagine how delicious it would be? I think your little dog needs to go out. Can you do that so she'll be quiet? Can you imagine how delicious that is in the winter? Uh, diced up and put in uh, a cup of cider just to add flavor. It is delicious. Or if I suppose you didn't have anything else but a little bit of sugar and a little bit of orange peel and you could put it in a glass and make it something flavorful to drink. Uh, I love this orange peel. Okay, that's it uh, with the fruit. Well, I don't know. I guess you might consider this a fruit. I decided that I wanted to have ginger in my food storage for its medicinal properties and you can look that up. So I went and bought fresh ginger and I uh, peeled it and I grated it. I'm going to try to pop this lid off because you can't, now I can't pop it off. And grated it and then I spread it on the fruit leather trays. So it looked kind of weird. It was just kind of this fibery, uh, fibrous, pulpy looking wet stuff. And I dehydrated it. Well, when you dehydrate it, you can just pick up the whole sheet. It looked like this big old tire, this big old flat sheet of ginger. And I crumbled it up and put it in my food chopper and ground it till it was fine. So now I have my own ginger that I dehydrated and it is wonderful. Uh, it's so aromatic and it's, it's just great to have. I love having it. I love adding it to, to warm drinks in the winter. Uh, it's great. All right. On to vegetables. Here we go. This is kind of an unusual one. Looks kind of strange. That's dehydrated eggplant. And it's wonderful, an eggplant dressing with um, rice and, and uh, eggplant and onions and cheese. Delicious. Here's mushrooms. That's Prep and Junkie's favorite thing to dehydrate. I heard her say that this week. Uh, very easy, especially if you buy the pre-sliced mushrooms. You just spread them out on your tray and dehydrate them. Wonderful. Here is cabbage, and I happened to write on top of this one when I loaded it in this jar that this is a half a head of cabbage, and it was a huge head of cabbage, and it, I got it in a pint jar. Can you imagine? Isn't that awesome? Cabbage. All right, and I do several different kinds of potatoes. Here is a large dice. You saw me show the large dicer on my Vidalia Chop Wizard. That's the large dice. Uh, they do take a good while to rehydrate. 
If I want to do potatoes, I think I'm still working with the one who gave me this tip, is I pour boiling water over them the evening before I'm going to use them, uh, let it cool down, then cover it and put it in my refrigerator and let those rehydrate all night until the next day and then they're perfect and that tip was great. These I like even better. These are little tiny diced potatoes. I made those with the Vidalia Chop Wizard. Um, and they are wonderful. They rehydrate quicker. They're great to throw in a soup, great to make potato soup. The Vidalia Chop Wizard, I think I paid about $18 for it. When she, when she made her video, uh, I think she posted that video on like a Wednesday or Thursday. I told my husband, uh, it's an hour, an hour drive to town. I said, I've got to go get one of those things. So I went on Bed Bath & Beyond's website, signed up for their newsletter. Because I knew signing up for their newsletter, I probably would get a coupon. And sure enough, they gave me a 20% off any one item in their store. I printed that coupon and went to town and had it by Saturday and was chopping my own food. And it's been just great. So here's the, here's the large dice. Here's the small. I also uh, make hash browns. Those are grated on a, a mandolin I have. Uh, sometimes those things will turn gray on me. Even if I put them in um, an acid water with lemon juice or fruit fresh or, or whatever you call it, uh, sometimes they'll turn gray on me. But they're wonderful to have too and they rehydrate pretty quickly. There's my sock tip. You can go back to my, my earthquake precaution video. You'll uh, see where I cut the tops off my husband's socks and put them around my jars and that way if there's any rattling in the cabinets they won't bang together. Here is something we love to dehydrate. That's whole kernel corn. Dehydrates very quickly. It's delicious. Here are carrots that have been been cut, been cut with the Vidalia Chop Wizard. I like them diced like this better than any other way. They are they are really good. Uh, uh, Prepper A is telling me I forgot something over here. Here's another one of my precautions where I put two rubber bands, one at the top and one at the bottom to keep things from banging together. I get so much squash during the summer, yellow crookneck squash, and we love it. It's absolutely my favorite vegetable, and uh, we eat as much of it as we can, and when the freezer starts getting full, then I have to dehydrate it. But it dehydrates, you can hear how dry it is, it dehydrates just perfectly. Look how beautiful that is. Just as yellow as when it came out of the garden. And it's delicious and sweet. Okay, where do we leave off here? Oh, that's one of Prepper A's favorites. What's that, Prepper A? Oh, that's dehydrated green beans. Dehydrated green beans. Can you tell them how to do that? Do you remember? Mm, you take frozen bags of dehydrated green, or of uh, store-bought frozen green beans, and you cut the top of the bag off, and you just pour them on your tray. Yep, I buy it when they run the frozen vegetables, the one pound frozen vegetables on sale at the grocery store for 89 or 99 cents. I buy them, bring them home. Each tray will hold one bag of green beans. I dehydrate them. These are uh, what we use a lot of times with a sandwich instead of a chip. We just pour some of these on the side of the plate. They are light and they are not hard to chew. They're very airy uh, and they are delicious. And so instead of getting a fat, greasy, fried vegetable with your sandwich, you need a nice green uh, green bean, and they are yummy. Here's something else Prepper A likes, and it's the prettiest thing to dehydrate. I'm going to bring it up here so they can see. What's that? That is dehydrated mixed vegetables. And we do more dehydrated mixed vegetables than anything. We dehydrate them most, buy them on sale. A one-pound bag will fit on one tray of the dehydrator, and we just fill it ten high with mixed vegetables and then we put it in quart jars and this is three pounds, three whole bags, uh, a little over three whole bags of frozen mixed vegetables. Uh, this is delicious and Prepper A loves that. Uh, in the back here we have dehydrated spinach. You just wash and pull the hard stems off and put the spinach, lay it out on the dehydrator. Boy does that dehydrate quick and it's great. You want to throw a, a handful of that in your Italian tomato soup or uh, a noodle soup, just grab a handful, throw it right in. This is something that doesn't dehydrate, uh, doesn't look too pretty when it dehydrates, but it sure is good, and that's cauliflower. And it will turn a little bit uh, of the tannish color on you, but when you rehydrate it, it turns white again. It's just magic. I don't know how it happens. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, this, this dehydrates real pretty too, and it's such a dark green 
You might not be able to tell what it is. Let's see. That's cauliflower. You can't dehydrate the uh, broccoli. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so glad to have you here. Um, it's, um, you can't dehydrate the stem because it get, gets tough. But you pick off just the flower of the broccoli, and, or just the head, and you blanch it and shock it in cold water and put it on your dehydrator. And there you go. I have a quart of broccoli head, and this is three whole bunches of broccoli. Okay, now let's, get, let's talk about some seasoning kinds of things. Oh, here's just a bag. These were celery leaves. Most people would throw them away, but they're great in soup, and I can just crush them up in my hand. I just have them in a little Ziploc bag because I'll use them real quickly. But here is a whole stalk of celery. This is in a maraschino cherry jar. So you can see how small that jar is. A whole stalk of celery. I cut mine pretty fine because I don't like just a huge chunk of celery. Great for seasoning. Here is, don't have a whole lot left. Glad, I'm, glad my plants are coming on right now. This is a bell pepper. Great for seasoning as well. Here is cilantro. Don't have a lot of that because I'd rather freeze that than dry it, and I already showed you in another, another video how to do that. <coughs> These little jars that yeast come in are perfect for, for storing spices because they are dark, and that's one of your enemies is light. So this is dried parsley. I'm not going to open it. Dehydrated green onion. That's about three bunches of green onions. They are delicious to add to things. And last but not least, Prepper A, her favorite. What is that? That is jerky. Beef jerky. And it's one of her favorite things to take in her lunches, and I feel safe sending it. It's not like sending a, a ham and cheese sandwich that has to sit and bake all day in our hot... Um, when she goes back to school in August, it's pretty hot. I don't have to worry about... Uh, her lunch growing bacteria, I can send her with with beef jerky and sometimes she gets some funny looks from the kids but she loves it, doesn't you? How do you like that? It is pretty awesome and you're right, I do get some funny looks. First time I pulled it out, I, I took some of that out of my lunch and the kids looked at me like, like I was an alien. They go, what is that? <laughs> and I go, that is homemade jerky. Well, I think they've kind of gotten used to the fact that we're kind of weird, aren't don't, <laughs> haven't they? Yeah, so she loves to take mixed vegetables, green beans, jerky in her lunch, and lots of dehydrated fruit. What a, what a healthy way to, mm. to take care of your child, and she just loves it. I hope this gives you some ideas. Try dehydrating. It is so fun. Um, if you have any questions, just post them in the comment section or send me a PM, and I'll get right back to you. I uh, hope this gives you some ideas and hope you have a great day. Cat's Cradle.